Hey and welcome back to another video in this course. So in this video what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we can easily add a app icon and launch screen to our take home project. Now I actually do have videos already on how to do this where I go into a bit more detail which I'll also link in the card section above. But in this video we're just going to briefly go over how we can easily just add this to our project using a tool called Bakery which I also go over in my video in the Swift UI sessions playlist top five iOS development tools and we'll also see how we can add a launch screen in. So what we're going to want to do first is add in our app icon. Now I've already got Bakery open and installed on my machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this icon here and I'm just going to choose this button here called generate icons which will create that for me. So this will actually generate an icon set for me in Xcode. So now all I need to do is just simply go into my assets folder and then simply drag this app icon into the folder here, into the pane here like so. Now you'll notice that you'll have a duplicate app icon. So we want to remove this old one. So we just select it and then hit delete. And then now we just want to rename this to app icon and it's really that simple. Now it's worth noting at the time of this recording, I actually created these app icons using Bakery and I've got these different sets here in Xcode 13. Now starting with Xcode 14, you're actually able to only specify, you're actually able to specify only one size for your app and this app icon will actually be scaled down and used for all these different sizes and we'll actually look at that later on in this course. But for now, we're just going to do it the traditional way where you just add in the multiple icon sets. But as you can see, using a tool like Bakery really does help speed up your development flow when working with Xcode 13 and using and adding your own custom app icons. Now, the next thing we're going to do is look at how we can add in our own launch screen. Now, normally, previously, you used to do this in a zip file. But now, starting with Xcode 13, you're actually able to just specify and configure your launch screen via your project plist. Now, if you don't know what a plist is, the plist is basically just a file that almost contains configuration about your project. You can actually find the plist by clicking on your Xcode part project and then going to info and you'll see a bunch of lists of, you know, things that you can actually configure for your project. Now, for our project for our launch screen what we want to do is we actually want to add in the key launch screen now if you don't see this key what you can do is just hit the plus button and if you just type launch you'll see an option here called launch screen so you want to select that like so and then when you open this up you should have an option here to actually add in your configuration. Now what we're going to do within launch screen is just hit the plus button and then you'll see all these different options for things that you can configure with your launch screen. Now in our case, we just want to set the background color and we also just want to set the image that's displayed on the screen before our application launches and loads. So for our background color and our image name, we're actually going to need to add this in to our assets folder. So let's do that now. So we'll just leave this empty. We'll come back to this in a second. But in our assets, what I want is I actually want our launch screen to be the same blue as our logo. So let's create a new color set here for our launch screen. So we hit the plus button and then go to color set. Cool. And then what we're going to do is just rename this to be launch screen background. Awesome. And now for light and dark mode, we actually want this launch screen to have the same color. So we don't need to specify any appearance in dark. So let's actually change this to this. So it's just a universal color that's used throughout the application. And then we want this to be the same blue as our app icon. So let's do that now. So I'm just gonna choose the color panel here and then just use the eyedropper tool. I'm going to try to get this blue here. Cool, so now we've got that blue. So now what we want to do is we need to actually add in our image that we want to show on the launch screen as well. I've already added in the logo like so. So we just want to drag this logo in here like so. Cool. And now normally what you would do is you could have the 1x, 2x and 3x or you could have this in SVG. But for this bit, I'm just going to have, to have a single scale asset. So we're just going to change this to be single scale like so. And then now we have our logo. So I actually prefer to work with my assets in lowercase. So I'm just going to change the uppercase L to a lowercase L. 
like so perfect cool so now let's go back into our p list and then within our launch screen image name we want to just give it the name of our asset now in this case we call it logo lowercase like so and then for our background we want to add in the background color option here and we want to give this a value of the color within our assets so just to speed things up I'm going to just copy this and then we're just going to go back into our peel list and just simply just paste it in here like so cool so now we should have our launch screen set up properly now to see this in action we want to actually just run this on the simulator so I'm just going to choose a device here and then let's just run this to see what happens Cool. So now you can see our launch screen and it should take us into our application once it's finished launching. Awesome. So you see hello world. And if I actually dismiss this, you'll now see that we actually have an app icon on the screen here as well. So when setting up your application with an app icon and launch screen, it's actually really easy to do. So that's everything in this video. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell to get updates for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you all in a bit. Deuces.